Hey everyone, this is Renee from Tippy.com and we are looking at iOS 5 Notification Center widget. Swipe down to activate it. If you want to look at the weather widget, you can swipe sideways to see weekly or daily forecasts. For the stocks, it'll tick by, but you can also grab it and scroll it where you want. Tap on weather, you get taken to the weather app. You can tap on stocks, get taken to the stocks app. It's fairly simple, but there's a lot of things you can configure. To configure the notification widgets, you want to go to the settings app and you want to go to the notifications tab. Now, um, weather and stock are, are basically the same here. You can tap on either one of them to take them out of notification center. If you don't want to see them there anymore, you just turn them off. To turn them back on, you just tap on and they are back. If you want to control the information that's actually shown to your notification center, you have to go to the apps. So here in the weather app, if local weather is on, it will always show you local weather. No matter which screen you're on, it'll always show you local weather. Uh, if, however, you toggle local weather off, then it will show you the last weather screen that you were on. So there's Toronto and there's Toronto. If you flip the local weather back on, it will no longer show you um, whatever screen you're on. It won't show you Toronto here, for example, but shows you the local weather again. Um, it is fairly similar for stocks. You just go to the built-in stocks application on your iPhone or iPod Touch. And if there is a stock listed there, you will see the notification center. If you want to remove a stock, you have to remove it from here. So for example, if you want to wait till rim bounces back before you look at it again, you just remove it from stocks and it is removed from notifications. For more tips, check out www.tippy.com tips.